I've seen a couple of people get hurt. I've seen people uh, driven away from here uh, in ambulances because of the curve. Right now at six, preventing the next tragedy, a Durham neighborhood demanding action on a stretch of road they call Dead Man's Curve. The I team tonight bringing those concerns directly to city and state officials. As Jonah Kaplan reports, the recent facts on the ground and the debris on the ground may finally bring some change. The warning signs looking bright and almost new. Well, that's because they are, sort of. Last week, the same signs were knocked down in a crash and replaced days later. It's, you know, you say, oh my gosh, again, you know, and I, I even keep a spare mailbox in stock. When a crash takes down a sign, it most likely takes down one of Henry Lenchfeld's mailboxes. Lenchfeld telling us he's replaced 10 in seven years, but it's not the mailboxes he worries about. Dearborn Drive snakes through a neighborhood home to a half dozen bus stops, a couple of churches, and a public library. You know, maybe two hundred dollars to hire somebody to bring come in and do a mailbox. It's only money, but when you kill kill somebody, that's a whole different animal. And if I don't speak up and I know about it, then I'm responsible too. Dearborn Drive is officially a state-owned road, but it's managed by the city of Durham through an agreement with the DOT. Officials tonight confirming at least 20 crashes at the curve in the last five years, almost all of them the result of speed. The posted speed limit is 35 miles an hour. Now those numbers are something for sure, but the evidence just out here tells a lot too. First, uh, look, there's a car part right next to some tire tracks as well, right off the ditch. Let's look over here. These are some pretty deep ruts. This was done probably not too long ago. Let's look across the street. You see another bent mailbox. That was not built that way originally. And just look how much traffic. DOT officials saying 10,000 cars per day just in this curve. Neighbor Jerry Ford collecting his own mementos from the collisions and slide offs he's seen out front. This particular one came from a hit and run. The guy hit it. My wife ran out here and said, Jerry, it looks like the car was almost flipped over. The guy got out of the ditch and he pulled off. Neighbors like Ford wanting a speed bump, but officials saying there's too much traffic for that. In a first, crews will test for a guardrail, but the culverts might make that difficult. That means for now, it's status quo in the neighborhood. A broken record of warnings to each other's families. I beg them, please be careful backing out because they come around the corner like a race car. I say the same line. I've been saying the same line for almost two years. Be careful backing out because they come around this corner like, like they're driving NASCAR. Jonah Kaplan joining us live right now from Dearborn Road. And Jonah, the speed limit already 35. Is lowering it even more an option in that area? Well, we asked that question, Tisha. They could lower it from 35, maybe to 25. But even the city of Durham and some of the incident DOT crews, they say, well, what's the point? If people are speeding when it's 35, what difference is it going to make if you suggest a speed of 25? They just say everyone needs to slow down no matter what. It would just be terrible to see someone get hurt. Jonah Kaplan on Dearborn Drive for us. Jonah, thank you.